Hi there, welcome to TMC. Today I'll be looking at this 2019 Nissan Navara finished in grey. I'll be doing a little walk around the vehicle today showing you all the key features, details and cosmetics. And I'll be sure to point out anything over and above that of general wear and tear. First of all, we're starting out with the bonnet of the vehicle. As I scan across, you might see a few signs of general wear, but nothing too significant. No big dents or scratches at all, looking really nice and tidy up at the top there. Moving down to the front end of the vehicle, those lovely clear headlights at the front, got no scratches or cracking in the lenses at all. And just moving down across that front bumper, you can see there are no immediate issues, a few small uh, chips in the paint, but nothing too significant. Again, no big scratches or scuffs at all. That front bumper and front grille all looking tidy, no big cracks, missing pieces in that front grille. Other headlights looking clear, and just moving around to that front passenger corner. All looking tidy up there, nothing to point out. All looking good on that arch. And that front alloy just there, also looking tidy, no big curbs or scratches. A few marks here and there around the spokes. Uh, but yeah, as I said, nothing too significant. Moving down the passenger side of the vehicle, that side mirror just there. Got no big scuffs on it at all. No cracks in the plastic. And we're just moving down those passenger side doors. As you can see, no car park dings or marks there. Looking tidy. Side steps are in good condition. And we'll just open up that front passenger door. You can see a bit of wear and a bit of a scratch just on the guard of that inner door card there. No damage around the switches or handles. As you can see, full leather seats here, a bit of creasing on the edges but no significant damage or tearing to uh, the edges or in the seat base at all. And I'll just come back to the inside of that rear passenger door. Again, a few light signs of wear around the door card, but nothing too significant. Um, those rear seats just there looking nice and tidy. Got no big significant tears on them at all. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, that rear arch there looking tidy. That rear alloy does have a few marks to point out on it. As you can see, just a few scratches and curves around the edges. Otherwise looking nice and tidy. And you've also got plenty of life left in those tires. Color coded canopy on the back. Truckman canopy, as you can see. A few marks just on the underside across the bottom there, but not too significant. Rear tail lights looking tidy. Rear bumper, a few marks, as you can see just there. You got your fixed tow bar and electrics along the bottom there. And a bit of a ding just in that rear bumper there, if you can see it all. Moving round to that tailgate, you can see got no big dings or scratches in there to mark out at all. Looking really tidy back there. Got your reversing camera. Just going to open up that canopy. Show you the top of the tailgate there, just underneath the, uh, the canopy shroud. You can see there are quite a few marks just along the back there. Really common place to see these types of marks just underneath the canopy shroud. And also at the top of the tailgate where stuff gets uh, put on top and then dragged in, creates a few marks, but that's looking pretty good overall. And I'll just take you into the back of the vehicle there where you can see the heavy load liner. A few signs of use, but no big significant signs of damage, no big cracks or tears at all. And the headliner just at the top there. Also looking tidy, no big tears in there at all. Moving around to the driver's side of the vehicle. You see again, those driver's side tail lights looking tidy. No scratches or cracking in the lenses at all. Rest of that canopy looking good. And just taking around that rear panel and that rear arch, all looking nice and tidy. And that rear alloy just there. Again, a few marks around the edges, but nothing 
too significant to point out. As you can see, just a few marks on these inner spokes as well. And once again, plenty of life left in those tyres. Moving down the driver's side of the vehicle. That rear door looking tidy. Same with that front door. No big car park dings or scratches at all. A few little marks here and there, uh, just around the door handle on that driver's door. And I'll just take you to the inside of that rear door there. But you can see looking nice and tidy. A few marks, not too significant. And again, those rear seats on the driver's side. No big tears in the base at all. And just moving around to that front arch. Looking tidy with that front alloy. Uh, yeah, once again, just a few marks to point out. Really gentle wear and tear, but definitely worth looking at. And that side mirror just there on the driver's side, looking tidy as well. Moving to the inside of that driver's door. You can see a bit of wear just around the card. No significant bits of damage. Got your electric seat controls just down here, which includes your uh, electric lumbar support. You've got your rear back tilt. You've also got your forward uh, backwards and you've got your seat height and leg height just there. As you can see, there is a bit of a tear just in that driver's seat there. A bit of creasing on the edges. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Otherwise looking nice and tidy. And I'll just get inside the vehicle now. Start the engine, I'll show you a few features. As you can see, keyless entry and start stop. Nice, quick and easy start there. Automatic gearbox in this vehicle. And you've also got your dual front heated leather seats just there. With drivetrain controls just down at the bottom of the dash here. You've got your AC just there and your infotainment. Got your cruise control and speed limiter just on the steering wheel here. As you can see, we're on just over 47,000 miles on the vehicle. Do have a full service history on here, so it's been well looked after. On the infotainment screen here, you can see we've got uh, our audio sources here, which includes your FM and DAB radio, as well as your CarPlay connectivity and your Bluetooth and USB connectivity uh, just there. You've got your map and satellite navigation just here. Is a main menu with a few uh, vehicle options here. Again, your map and your audio. You've also got your uh, connections list just here with a few system settings as well. I'll put this in reverse. You can see you've got the reversing camera come up as well as uh, the 360 camera view. You can also see out the front if you just press on the camera button there. This vehicle is available for viewing either through our online process or at our Hampshire based branch. If you have any further questions or inquiries on this vehicle, please do feel free to get in touch. And thank you very much for watching.